What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, so today is gonna be a fun day. Uh, I'm gonna get this car going again. I caught it on fire a little while back. This is the car we built for roadkill and I promptly proceeded to blow the head gasket up, bend the rods, then catch it on fire. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty much like solely responsible. Times. Yeah, I caught this car on fire like at least two or three times, but the last time was really bad. I pulled all the crusty wires out, but you can see kind of some of the, the ash and remnants from what was there. So today I have to figure out what exactly I need to do to get this thing running again. Luckily it didn't burn to the ground. It's definitely savable. We've got some melted uh, crank sensor and RPM sensor wires. Uh, turbo feed is toast. All the plug wires were melted. Uh, geez. And then I also, when the car caught on fire, I started ripping out fuses and doing a lot of weird things to keep the car from burning to the ground. So I got to undo everything that I did in panic mode and hopefully I can get this thing running again. Montuck. Little Montucky cold snacks. Just what you need to get a car running these days. So my goal today is just to get it running uh, and I'm also going to upgrade the coil I think. We're probably going to go to AutoZone and buy some bullshit for like a, a Chevy truck or something and see how many hundreds of thousands of volts we can feed to these spark plugs because the spark was blowing out. And we already have the plugs gapped at like, I think 18, 18, whatever. So anyway, yeah, goal for today, replace wires, replace hoses, figure out what fuses I pulled, get an intake air temperature sensor, fix the vacuum system, maybe put a mechanical fan on it. I just wanna hear the thing run today. So if you guys are new to the channel, please help us catch more cars on fire. Like, comment, subscribe, mainly subscribe. Click that subscribe button, guys. Help us do more dumb shit. Mm -hmm. let's, go, let's go to AutoZone, but first let's get sideways. This looks like what we need. I think we can make Chevy parts work for us. And here we see Will splicing wires. It's delicate surgery. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I guess we'll find out. As you guys know, the E34 was missing an intake air temperature sensor, so hole, bung, weld. Aaron's gonna take this on for us because my take skills are less than adequate, and uh, yeah, then we'll be on to other things. put a heat shield on the spark plug wires to keep them from being too close to the hot side of the turbo and the like manifold and wastegate assemblies all under there. We also built this fancy little mount here which is just an E30 coil strap with a radiator hose inside it to hold our MSD coil. And then this whole setup here is going to keep all these wires from melting hopefully and uh, make it so it doesn't burn to the ground. Looks pretty sweet too. It does. It turned out pretty good for just a little bit of wrenching this morning. I took the wheels off my wagon and I put them on this. I didn't think they would fit because they got to clear the uh, the F30 front brakes that we got from Angry Ass. Um, so I, I think, I don't know, maybe a 10 or a 12 mil spacer in there and it, and it clears. I was very surprised. So uh, the car is substantially lower than this. It's still sitting on the lift. So um, we'll see what kind of rubbing issues we have when it's down, but I frankly don't care. Um, whatever rubbing is how we're gonna drive it. Think care about that. car might actually do something this time this will be our uh for the first time third attempt at it 
Uh, over here, what we got going on? Might have seen a video of uh, EGR getting removed from his truck. That happened. Aaron's doing an oil change. There's a mirror there. Um, an oil change, fuel filter change. And he also just finished an airbag install. So now when we're towing the big trailer, we won't be looking all sunk in the back. I'm trying to get this OEM cover to fit right here. With the E36 wiring, there's a lot of wiring. And it does not want to fit. So that might be a battle fought in vain, but. He's been doing it for about two hours now, but he's not giving up. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> it's so close, it just never wants to actually. Check out the wheels on this thing. These are style 21s, which are an M system. The 21 refers to the cover. The turbine covers are a style 20. So what makes this set cool is this is a staggered set. So these are nine inch rears, which all the US cars, these came on E34 M5s, they only came with eight inch uh, all the way around. So we have Euro spec nine inch rears and they fit on an E30 M3. So they're on there. I got new covers. Um, they're OEM metal ones, not the fiberglass shitty ones. And yeah, so that's what this is gonna run there. Oh, I painted up some wheels for the E34 too. I don't know if we're gonna end up using them, but we're gonna take them. And then here's another set. This is actually the set of the wheels off of the squirrel wagon. If you guys didn't know about that, it was a Euro um, E34 wagon, you know. E34 wagon, kind of like that. But it was a 525 manual. It wasn't like a crazy special car, but it was Euro. So it had cool seats in it. And somebody put turbines on it. These, uh, these used to be painted like a desert camo, like a desert storm tan, like actual gun paint. Um, so I had some of the BMW um, factory wheel paint yeah, from Brent and Angry Ass. So I just coated them real quick and then the turbine covers were brown. So I just blasted them black real quick. We seem to have some sort of reaction though. So I'm probably gonna just try sanding that down and just smoothing out. I'm gonna get these wheels professionally refinished. I literally just did this just for this event. I keep saying this event, you guys probably don't know that, but we're going to uh, Austin, Texas this weekend um for a thing called text fest and it's uh just a bunch of old i think like 95 and older bmws and uh it's on a lake and we're gonna drink a lot of beer and look at cool cars and probably not do much driving it's gonna be cool so we're loading up the turbo e34 and the e30 m3 into the big trailer and we're all piling in the truck and we're just cruising down there weather took a turn guys it's not looking good out there shit's just blowing by Oh, we don't have headlights. We never did that. Oh shit, yeah. Don't really forget to do that when you back. I hear rubbing back here in this corner. That's good. Oh. That's my washing machine that somehow made it all the way across the corner. Oh shit, yeah, she's rolling. <laughs> so. Oh, 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 shit. oh damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Did you get that on the camera? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. I told you guys it was a little windy. Damn! Oh, your mirror looks a little busted there, boss. No, it just folded in. Oh, man. All right, so, I'm pretty sure I got the entire thing of that. <laughs> we now have an M5 cluster and an M Tech 1 steering wheel out of an E30. That doesn't seem to fit super great. It's hitting something, but I'm hoping it'll just kind of break itself loose. She doesn't blow out anymore. I mean, she's, she's not fast. But not fast at all. I'm gonna center my weight and see if it keeps it. It's only rubbing on the corner I was sitting yeah, Here we go. <laughs> She's making great sounds too. Your yeah, AF totally ratio awesome. works great. Yeah, I think it's gotta be hooked up to the battery. Yeah. That's how we did it. I also did a really good job centering the wheel. She rubs on everything. She must have a lot of boost leaks because you can feel a building and it just doesn't go anywhere.
Not bad for a first shakedown. That is the best the car's ever driven when I've driven it. Well, hell yeah. And just to show something, I drove the car from somewhere back to somewhere and it is not on fire. It nor did be, it break down. Nor did it break down. It is smoking, but it's here. Casting, you wanna record that? Oh yeah, she's smoking. We, see we got the stuff from the <laughs> thing thrown up. Passenger that was riding in a windshield wiper. Nice. <laughs> I don't think that was there when we left. So I think we picked that up. On the Probably. Some nice rubbing going on. All right. So that concludes our uh, our, our day of prep. You know, the day before we leave, because in normal fashion, we're gonna have to come in tomorrow, the day we leave, and actually fix our cars. So if you call that was smoking a little bit, not running great. And then uh, also this is, you know, there's some rub there. So we might do some fender rolling. But, so the E30M3 is back. Will did wreck it. Will did not catch it on fire. But Will did manage to yeah, break like his it. crank pulley. How do you break a crank pulley, Chris? You drive? I, I, I don't know. I really don't think people break their crank pulleys. But he destroyed his radiator and the crank pulley is literally broken. So hopefully the crank and everything else is fine. I'm gonna stick around a while more tonight and see what we can do. I think uh, Aaron and I are gonna do some trailer prep here in the wind. I'm gonna climb on top of the trailer and put in new vent covers. Um, probably get blown off. Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, please tell your friends, please Say Denver beer and oil at the top of your lungs wherever you go. We appreciate you.